Hi guys, hope you're well. Today a new video. Sorry I haven't filmed in a while. I've just been really really busy and I haven't got a chance but now I'm on a holiday so I decided to make this video and just chat to you guys and see how you're all doing. So um, I always I always wanted to say before I start this video is that if you have any questions about Etsy or on how to do things on Etsy or how to um, if you need any help or any support please leave your comments down below and I'm almost always happy to help you out and um, see what I can do but I'm definitely gonna make more videos because Etsy has introduced a lot of new stuff so I'm gonna definitely make a video about that and help you um, increase your sales by using those new features and I also have some other exciting things and um, another video that I'm gonna make is like how to uh, prepare for Christmas because Christmas no matter when you open your um, Etsy shop it's gonna be the definitely the craziest time starting from probably October November and December it's really really busy so I'm definitely gonna make a video how to how you can make the most out of that but this video is I am going to talk about um, if you can live as an artist in today's society or not and I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about myself because this topic is very dear to me and I just want to encourage people and just give some motivational speech, I suppose. Um, but, um, so yeah. So when I was a little girl, I loved doing art and I still do to this day. So it's my first love, it's what I love doing. I love art, I love going to art galleries. I love the whole lifestyle of being an artist and being able to read books and listen to music and create your art and just be free and um, it's really like the most rewarding thing I have ever done um, and when I was little I obviously wanted to be an artist that was the thing and I wanted to be like everyone else like I wanted to have a life like Van Gogh or um, Paul Gauguin they were my favorite or Matisse I, you know how they traveled the world and how they like painted and had all these like interesting stories happen to them obviously Van Gogh was a bit extreme but you know what I mean I always wanted to be one of those and yeah, it was just always seemed like very romantic lifestyle and um, very nice. So I just wanted to do it. Um, and I wanted to study art when I came to college. However, my parents, as being parents who worry about my future and stuff, didn't really want me to do that because they were scared about how am I going to be able to support myself, support my family in the future, and how am I going to be. Um, you know they just wanted the best for me to be honest and at the time I didn't really see it as that I was like oh my parents are being evil and they don't want me to do what I want to do but now I, as I'm older I do understand why where they were coming from and um, so I didn't study I chose to study business and then after I went to the marketing degree um, and when I was in the first year of my university I really wanted to do art it was like always my dream to study art it was just like something that I really wanted to do like if you ask me how many things I really wanted to do there, there I have so many dreams and so many aspirations in my life but it just being able to study art and being an artist is one of the main things and that I always wanted to do so um, and more than anything else I suppose so uh, my mum has been really nice and obviously and I'm forever grateful to her because she paid for me to go into the private school um, in UK you can get a um, student loan just for one degree so I was not able to pay for a second degree myself so my mum did that so that was very nice thank you mum uh, and uh, that was an amazing experience for me I just learned so much I developed so much as an artist and as a you know as a person I just you know and my dream came true it was my dream to be uh, surrounded by other artists and learn how to do things and I just loved every second of it and I, I kind of miss it and I kind of don't but um, so yeah I just really liked it and uh, obviously after I graduated from both degrees the normal thing was to um, to do a ma to find a marketing job because uh, since I was a little girl everyone always said you're gonna be a starving artist you can't live from art even in the art academy we were never encouraged really or taught how to sell art or how to live from art which I now see that it's a really um, they're really missing the opportunity of teaching students how to start selling straight away I mean because if you're choosing that as a, your only career you you have to know how to use the internet and how to you know advertise yourself and sell yourself to you know to public and but we never learned that so 
any art academies if they're watching this definitely try to inc um, include some subjects on how to sell art um, because that's the most important thing uh, being an artist is amazing but you also have to be a salesperson you also have to be your own accountant you also have to be your customer service so there's so many skills that you have to have in order to be a full-time artist and um, obviously I have gained these skills from my experiences in working in marketing and I worked as a sales um, assistant during my degree in H&M and other stores so you know I have gained all the skills that I needed to start my shop and make it a success but I am making this video just to tell you because I know a lot of you have started and opened an Etsy shop a lot of you uh, a lot of you are new to selling your own crafts or art or whatever you're doing and I just want to say that you, you can live from your art I don't care what people tell you I don't care where you live I believe that if this is the path for you or this is your biggest dream in life that life somehow the God or the universe whatever you believe will take you on this path and make your dream come true after three years of selling I have a consistent income I am able to live from it I can live from it and have another job if I wanted to or not it's completely up to me but um, definitely it will take time it will take um, you know uh, patience because it will not happen overnight as many people say and it will take a lot of hard work and a lot of learning but if you really truly want to make a living of anything that you do, if you want to be an actor or a singer or anything, that life will take you on the path and open the, you know, the opportunities to you that you are able to do it. I really believe that in this day and age where the internet is so um, widely spread, I mean everyone has internet connection all over the world and it's so easy to connect with people and so easy to reach the people now with the internet that just you know life is your oyster you can do anything that you want really and there's nothing stopping you except yourself so just wanted to make this quick video and encourage you to if you're thinking about it or you have started just continue to do it i know it's hard in the beginning when you're not getting sales and you just open your Etsy shop but just please please stick with it it will work whatever you're selling i do not care i'm sure it's beautiful and you will definitely definitely sell it just takes a bit of time so yes Good luck to everyone. Uh, the next video, as I said before, will be about Etsy and how to prepare for Christmas and all this, how to stock up on your items, bestsellers, and blah, blah, all this. 